All right, halftime at Bender Arena in the Patriot League opener between American and Bucknell. It's Justin Antwell. We're talking with assistant coach Brittany Pinkney, the newly engaged Coach P. Coach, congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's It's been a long time coming, but I'm extremely excited and I'm super happy. So this is probably one of the best Christmases that I've had so far. So. All right, tell us about the moment. Did did uh, your your now fiance Kenny propose at a at a basketball game? How how did this all work? No, he actually proposed. It was actually our four year anniversary. Um, we had a long day full of events, and he actually I kind of kind of guessed it was going to be that day, but I just didn't know where. Um, I thought it was maybe going to be at dinner. We were going to go see the National Christmas Tree. Um, it did not end up being at either one of those. It was actually at the African American Museum. Um, I had never gone there before. He had, um, and he's a water guy. Uh, he's an ex Navy Navy man, and um, they have a reflection pool there. And the museum was closing, and I thought he was asking the security guy to take a picture of us by the reflection pool but in actuality he was actually um, asking the guy to take a video um, because he was going to propose to me so it was just us two and the security man who took the video of our proposal awesome what a moment what was the reaction like after um i was super excited like i was beaming from ear to ear I mean, it's just, I mean, we've been together for four years, and I was just extremely happy. Obviously, you know, we both knew that, you know, we wanted to spend the rest of our lives together um, for a while now, and the moment has finally come. So I'm just truly excited, and I'm truly blessed because he's such a great guy. Awesome. What a great Christmas present. And you're back in Lewisburg, too, for the second go-around. How are you liking your second stint with Bucknell? A few years ago, you were, you were on operations side. Now you get to deal with X's and O's. It's probably a little bit more fun, right? Um, it is fun. It is fun. You know, I was part of um, Coach Rissell's first um, coaching staff, but I was operations back then, which obviously is a bit different. You know, you're doing all of the behind-the-scenes stuff. You can't do anything on the court. And, you know, that's what I wanted to do at the end of the day. You know, I wanted to to get on the court. So I went away for four years, and now I'm back. And I'm just truly excited to be able to come back and work with such a great um, guy and coach Russell. Like, he's such a good mentor. I mean, he knows exactly what he's doing. I mean, obviously – in the six years that he's been here, the way that he's turned the seasons around every year that he's been here, you know, that's that's just someone that I want to be able to learn from and get experience from because eventually I want to have my own program one day. Yeah, what was it like that first year? You 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 all inherited a five-win team, and now you're a perennial thread in the prestigious Patriot League. Um, I mean, obviously it's difficult to take over any new program, you know, but – in our first year, they, like you said, they won five games the previous year. But that that year, we had a ten game turnaround. Ended up winning fifteen games that year, if I'm not mm-hmm. mistaken, um, which was, I believe, probably one of the best turnarounds in Division One basketball for that season. Um, and it, it was it was a great experience and a great feeling, and um, just to see the progression that Coach Russell has done with this program over the years is remarkable. I mean, every year, if you look back. Um, at his records every year that he's been here he's improved it we've improved every single year so I'm just looking forward to the towards this journey seriously I really am we're talking with assistant coach Brittany Pinkney on the halftime show here in Washington DC and you also got to work with coach Russell's wife Molly when you were a star at Virginia Commonwealth University when she was one of your mentors on the operations side that's pretty ironic it is. It's such a small world. <laughs> it really is. It's funny because I always joke with Coach Russell about how I knew his wife before he <laughs> even knew her at all. Um, so I've I've known uh, Molly and I have known each other since I was 18, and you know I was playing basketball. And she was in the same the same field. Um, she was in operations, so you know she was able to to help me out and give me some advice when I. Um, became in operations five ooh, five years ago, <laughs> so I mean it was a joy, and she's she's a ball of fun, lots of energy. She actually, has the same energy that she had <laughs> that many years ago. Um, now even three kids later. So <laughs> Let, let's talk about this year's team for the sixth consecutive year in the Coach Russell era. The team finishes above five hundred non conference play. Maybe the final game of non conference play didn't go the way the coaches and the student athletes wanted. But what are your what are your feelings? Eleven games into the season, with the second season upon us, starting today, the first of eighteen challenges in league play. Um, I mean, I, f- I actually feel really good. 
um, about um, today's game. I think the biggest thing for us is consistency, being consistent on both ends of the floor, um, just being able to, A, take care of the ball. That's been something that's been hounding us the, past, the previous 11 games. If we can take care of the ball, um, have good stop, shot selection, um, just knowing what we're looking for within our offense, I think we'll be. I think we'll be in a good spot tonight. I mean, the biggest thing is we got to stop Emily Keniston and we got to stop Cecily Carl. Both of them are two premier um, players in the league, and it's going to be a challenge tonight. But we got to be locked in from from the minute of jump ball and to the end of the clock. So. Um, I, I think it'll, it'll be a good challenge. It's a good test in the beginning of the season. You got one versus two, um, and, and uh, this will be a good good time to set the tone and see what we can do throughout the rest of the season. How do you go about teaching this complicated game called basketball? Do you use flashcards? Do you use dummies? I mean, what what do you do to teach them the plays so they understand the system that you're working in? It's really it's really breaking it down um, in the summertime. Um, we we really, especially with the freshmen, we really instilled our offense the moment that they got on campus. And it's just breaking everything down bit by bit. Um, even in our breakdowns and practices, we'll still break down um, a bit of our offense. Um, and then once we get into five on five or four on four settings, then we bring it all together. So, I mean, one of the biggest things, and this is something that um, I'm not really used to, is actually breaking down the offense starting in the summertime. We really didn't do that um, in my previous school, um, but we did that here. And so by the time that we got to October and we put everything together, um, you know, it's, it's like clockwork for our players. You mentioned Coach Rochelle's a mentor. Who were some mentors you had growing up, Coach P? Wow. Um, besides my mother in the business, I would say uh, Julia Huddleston. Um, she was actually, uh, she coached me at VCU. Um, she's now the head coach at Lynn University down in Boca Raton, Florida. You know, she's someone that I would call, I don't make any type of, professional business move without getting her insight. I mean, it's really important um, to have someone who you can call to, you know, not just on a professional level, but someone who can help you out when, you know, things aren't going well within the season, you know, because a lot of people have gone through, you know, their ups and downs and, you know, they have, they've had their experience with it, but to have someone, you know, you can, can call and rely on it, it's really important. I have, um, um, Coach Taj, um, an assistant from GW. I'm so, sorry, not GW. George Mason. She actually played at GW, <laughs> all-time player at GW. Um, she's another person too who I will call and talk to without before I make a professional move. Um, Aaron Bath, who is now at uh, Liberty. You know, she's another one who I, I look to. Um, in this business, and all of these young ladies had either coached me. Um, Coach Taj actually recruited me, and then she left coming into my freshman year at VCU and went back to GW um, to coach there. Um, but all of these ladies have coached me throughout uh, my time at VCU, and it's great that I still keep in contact with them. You know, oh my gosh, it's been 10 plus years removed um, from VCU, and and it's always a good thing to have someone that you can talk to and rely on. You're a great player. You've been in the coaching business for quite some time. What's your favorite drill uh, to, to emphasize with the, with the student athletes? What gets the blood flowing where they can learn a lot mentally and physically? Ooh, a favorite drill. Um, I'm a big I, – I love – well, for, I love when I do one-on-one -on -one workouts, but I love to um, incorporate – conditioning with the shooting I love shooting drills and I love incorporate incorporating conditioning with their shooting drills mainly because I want to get that mindset with them okay it's fourth quarter or it's a, it's overtime and you got to push through you got to find that second gear and that that mentality okay I got to push through when I tire I cannot let tire beat me so I, I just like doing a lot of a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff with players just you know getting them game ready getting making them you know be able to shoot 
and have good shot selections within within games or even within practice um, as well. I'm a big believer, you know, repetition, repetition. The more you get in the gym, the more you're shooting, you know, the better that, you know, your shots will be and will fall come game times. What's the most important element about being a good shooter? Uh, elbow to eyebrow. You got to keep that follow through there. And the, the biggest thing, um, and I try to tell our players, stay low. A lot of times we stand straight up, and then by the time the ball gets to us, now we want to bend down and then come up and shoot the ball. Well, A, you look like a robot, and B, you're allowing your defender to close out on you versus you already being down. Then on the flight of the pass, you got to step into your shot. And then as soon as you catch the ball, now you're re- ready to release it versus you catching, then bending down, and then going up for your shot. So that, that's probably the biggest element for me, just being low and ready and using your legs. Using your legs is a b- big key opponent just because, like I said earlier, in the course of a game, if it's a double overtime and you're tired, you know, you got it. Your legs has to get, have to get used to going through a course of a game um, and being ready versus you shooting with your upper body and now you're tired and now your shots are going all over the gym. And last one, we've had a lot of homecomings for the student athletes. It's a homecoming for you too, so happy (laughs) homecoming. We're back in kind of the D.C., Virginia, Maryland area. Uh, How does this make you feel? How many friends and family will you have in attendance? Um, I'll have quite a few. Um, it, it It feels great. I actually went to high school probably 10 minutes from here. Hello. Um, so this area is very, really, really familiar. I was just telling the, the staff how I used to, I actually had a two hour commute, um, up this way. I would take the Metro, take me two hours. And then I would get off actually right up the street, about two blocks up at Friendship Heights. I would get on the E2, E3 or E4 and take that up to St. John's. And, um, it, it feels, it feels good to be back home and I'll be, we'll be back a couple of times, you know, if some people can't make it today, we we have Loyola and we have Navy, so it's just it just feels good to be back in the DMV. Well, it's great to have you back in Lewisburg. Uh, congratulations on your engagement and uh, best of luck in the second season here in Patriot League play. Thank you so much, and um, appreciate talking with you, Justin. And uh, let's go Bison. Let's get one. That was Coach Brittany Pinkney. I'm Justin Antwell. Second half action coming up between the Eagles and the Bison from Bender Arena here on WVBU and Bucknell Sports Properties on Learfield Sports.